All right, so we got a little break here because we found something more efficient. If you know what this is, you know, all right? So if you haven't subscribed to the Patreon, if you're outdated, we'll put the link in the description. Subscribe to them. You'll get it, you know, days earlier to seven days earlier. Uh, it will be coming out soon, you know, for most people. But as anywho, this is going to be ten times more efficient. So thank you to the people doing the sweat labor on the back end of stuff. All right, major stone shield potions should be... Oh, God, I'm going to have diarrhea again. Uh, uh, and thank you to the kids that aren't going to be getting paid for helping me make this video. Uh, so now, it's going to be ten times easier switching people over. It's simple as that. Now we don't have to kind of edit and do all that type of stuff. So we're going to get into it. Denmark beat Scotland over here, so... We're gonna have to give them the SmackDown versus Raw. We're gonna have to see which one this is. Layer 30. So Scotland loses to, against Denmark. We're gonna pull over the color here. I'm gonna send not too much of a difference of color of red, but. Scotland versus Denmark, one got smacked out. Simple as that, now we're gonna I get rid of the Scotland offer. They got rid of it. So we just got uh, Qatar from Qatar. Let's see who they take over. Not bad. We can drag it over. Bow. Pretty close to each other. What we can do though is add another layer. Go like this. Bow. Boom. I'm a professional photoshopper. Now I gotta worry about my skills here. Now we go in to spin the wheel. The wheel of fortune here. Who's fortunate enough to know where it is? And then we're gonna have to give a little, let's, I have to give a little spin here to see. So we gotta do a uh, up above versus down, all right? This is gonna be nice. Gonna see who wins. Denmark versus Norway. Team Sheets. We're just gonna go in here and check to make sure everything. No, we gotta make sure that he's on the roster here. And we gotta pull Robertson over. Male, because he's a left back. All right, now we got him switched over. Now we can go back to simulating the game here. All right, so do, 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 international versus Norway. There we go. Oh, whoops. Yeah. So we see. They got better mill, they got the better attack, but the mid defense. Norway's no one to fuck with, but I think Denmark might have a chance here. I think, like I said, it's Norway is no one to fuck with, but I think Denmark might have a pretty big standing in this situation here. What do you say, Mbappe? Yeah, perfect. All right. I know this is usually my break time, but we don't need to take breaks anymore. So, watch your mouth. And, all right. I'm not, I'm not trying to get in a fight, but my bad, my bad. Uh, now we're doing it this time around. We're being more efficient. People running around. They're making the lines on the field nice and crisp. They're watering the field. So when we get slide tackled, we slide more than 50 yards down the field. It's going to be a great day. So we have Denmark versus Norway here. Handing over to Ericsson. Oh, they're just moving it fast because Dolberg said Skolk Olsen. Oh, back to the same team with a goal by Holzerberg. 
Just pass it over to the opposing team. It could be a play on their end. Try to get in their head, but Denmark's already ahead. That was a good block by Nyland. Said we might be able to take the walk today because Sorloth may juke him out. And Holland wasn't thinking. He should have done a little juke. He's already done that two feet movements ago to get it stolen because he kicked it right into the opposing team. That's why we see here that the ball is on Norway's side. Simple as that. They kept passing it back, but I think that's half right there. With a headbutt, and that now brings it to a 1-1 one, one even score. Is it going to come down to penalty kicks? At this point, they're pretty even within the first couple rounds. Or first couple of minutes, my bad, not rounds. With the first couple of minutes of what's going on here, we thought Denmark's going to have it in the bag. But then we saw right there, with no problem, a headbutt that is so curved, not even Jesus would have predicted where that's going to hit. That was able to think about what was it? He just shoved him out of bounds because that was, uh, that's, that's what I meant. It's, uh, WWE type stuff right there. Half time I played the game, I'm getting choke slammed right there. He just, I don't know what that was. He just like, he, he gave him the good old three, one, two twerk, bounced him out of bounds and the whole ball went with him. So we're going to have to take it to penalties. Simple as that. We're going to see who the best goalie is. Who it is. Oh, Dolberg said he's going to kick it right, but kicked it in the middle with King saying, I'm going to kick it left, but right, because you didn't even know. You do the left, right, one, two swing. But then, if no one is even diving or being a goalie at this point in time, he, all right, so he, he can do penalty kicks, but there's not 20 people in front of him. So he's getting kind of confused. Oh, with a block from Denmark. And again, Norway's just kicking it in. Denmark is trying to do something. And all right, Jensen is throwing the game. He's definitely getting piss tested. Holland might be safe for, from this piss test this game or this week. Uh, next game, we might have to test him. But as we saw, Jensen is smoking something. It's not necessarily over yet. If they could block it right here from Norway. If not, Denmark has to make it. Oh, it is over. Norway, as I predicted in the beginning, might be able to throw hands if they could answer. And they answered with big questions. When it meet me. Wow. I'm gonna take Denmark off the wheel. Wow, Denmark is eliminated. Belgium. Okay. Spin the arrow. Go from Belgium. Yeah, I think so. Then we can spin it again. All right. Now, let's go through. And it's the United States. States. Okay, United States. Yeah, I would say that needs to be real. Yeah. Alrighty, now let's get into simulating everything here. Alright, we'll give them blue. Ah, Bloods vs. Crips. Let's get it. Gangster vs. Gangster. Straight up G. Oh, 
All right, Mbappe, what do you have to say? I already know this is the pause menu, and this is usually where we take a break, but you don't need to repeat yourself. I'm talking about this game. How do you feel? You feel U.S.? I agree with you there. Good talk. Uh, and now we see United States starting off with the ball. Brand sounds like the half off uh, flea market version of Ferrari. Back over to Hutchinson. I don't know what's going on here. It looks like David's got control of the ball, handing over to Hutchinson. But as Sorio, he's not sorry for passing it to his teammate because they're actually keeping it on the U.S.'s side, even though that was a pass to his own opposing team. He said, we're keeping it. And Canada, for some reason, was able to kick that in without any questions. Nothing could have been answered with that one. Pass it over to... Tw well, Twerk just said, we're handing over to Ferrari. And the real Ferrari, there is no off-brand about this. That is really top of the line. If you need to order something this fancy, you're not getting this from a flea market. There's nothing close to being a copy of what this just happened. They might... As Davies just said, Davy Jones Locker has a lot to offer, and there's a lot of secrets and spells that can be unleashed from the Onan one. But it's not 0 1, it's 1 1. Now to 2 2 because Davy Jones's Locker has a lot of secrets up their sleeves. Long. <sighs> His memory is short-term. He forgot why he's sitting on the field today. Oh. Oh, right in the mouth. USA just caught one right in the mouth. He blocked it. What a good face block. But he couldn't do anything return because with the 1-2, he got stunned right off of the face. At this point, it is halftime. It could be over. But I don't know if it could be over. If you have the devil on your team right here. You have the LeBron James of soccer. That might be able to pull something out of the darkest areas that where the sun don't shine. There could be a secret card. There could be a secret shiv right in his sock that he never know. He could be going on the field dropping people with the left or right. He could just half field to shoot it like it's a three-pointer. We don't know just yet. There's still quite a bit of time left. So at this point, we can already tell something might be with a rebuttal or maybe it will become unanswered. But as we see, statistic-wise, the last time with LeBron James being down by a couple points didn't end well for the other team. We can see that now. They keep headbutting it. And Adams had an answer to what was going on. Reyna might be able to pull it downfield. Pass it over. Arison and Ferrari might be able to kick it over. And Ferrari is getting it in. That's what's good. It's not over yet because, right, this is not Ferran. This is Ferrari, the real one. He had to go to the store to pick it up. This is not something you buy offline or from the flea market. This is the full, legit version, as we saw there. He's not faking anything. If you could steal it and kick it, if you could keep running it, and at that, that is game. Canada, without a doubt, somehow pulled it off at this point, as we saw here. It wasn't just of what was going on of the opposing team with pretty good defense. But when you start passing it to the opposite team, you start getting fucked. All right, simple as that. You can't just be passing it and throwing the game. My only question to what happened there is who's getting paid under the table? I'm not the manager here, but we're going to do an uh, investigation, internal investigations. Uh, we're going to have to have some people check what it's like in the daily life of some of these people here because it looks like half of them are on drugs. Canada is smacking. At this point in time, we can see 
who is kind of dominating most of the world, right? But we can't say just yet as Canada is throwing hands. But I don't think they're going to be the dominant one here, right? There's, there's a lot of tough, tough enemies that they're going to be able to go through. And as we see there, Polisic now goes over to Canada. I think he purposely failed his drug test at 23 years old to get put onto Canada for whatever reason. Because with at this point in time, with everything going on here in Portland and everywhere else in the U.S., I don't I don't disagree. Where now he's actually going to be taken care of with the free health care. Much better. Perfect. There we go. Lot cleaner. Now we get rid of United States. Let's spin the wheel of fortune. Canada. Damn, Canada is trying to smack hard right now. Versus. We can already predict what's happening here. I feel like Mexico might take the win. Canada might be able to smack some people up. That's what they've already done. Let's see, 79, 77, 76. I don't know, Mexico might have something up their sleeves. All right, Mbappe, who do you feel is going to win on this one? You're saying Canada's going to smack some people up? I agree, but I feel like some of the people that are coming from Mexico are gonna give some unanswered goals in the first half. They're just kicking back and forth, making Mexico look like they're funny and thinking they know what to do. But Davies said a quote, and that was about to be said, where if they bring it in and keep it, on Mexico's side, it's going to be without said, unanswered. Canada might be slapping people, like what Mbappe said in the halftime there, before we switch to the other game that's going on now. Canada's going to be throwing hands. All it was was a pass over to Sario, and Sario said, Sorry, you're playing the wrong game. But Pulsic told me firsthand in the locker room as we were doing interviews. Canada is going to be great again. And as we see here, it is not only with what he said in the locker room, but he said, goal, word for word. And I wrote it here on my notepad. And he fucking got a goal. All right. I agree, George. As we see here, they just, that was, yeah, okay. Mexico's getting a little bit pissed off here. Uh, I don't know if anyone on the team is part of the cartel, so if we lose any members from Canada, uh, you may have pissed off the wrong person tonight. Because at that point in time, uh, yeah, I would hope it's a penalty kick because he swept his leg out from under him. Because the foot movement of what Canada has... It's not necessarily too strategic because we can see they're just passing it. That's what you need to do, right? So if someone's able to get in front and be able to keep the control of the ball, it's what you really need there. Whether they have a 0-3 to a 1-2. If you're in the lead, you're in the lead. Keep it that way. Keep doing what you're doing. But Mexico needed to change something up. They lost not because... Of how they were performing. But what drugs they were on. That is a possibility of Canada. Planting stuff into the own water supply. Of the opposing team. Which is possible. Because possibly George. I think they're putting. Joe Biden's dementia pills. In their water or Gatorade supply. Yeah, 
I get that. We're getting that. They just took over the whole side of. I mean, come on, they just took over Mexico, North America, and everything. They're just slapping people up at this point. D. Rojas. Danny Rojas. There you go, Mr. Rojas. You've been switched over. Hey YouTube, all right, this is a mid-game me here, mid-game near. Uh, so now with the part two, we might add in more teams, add more mods. Let me know in the comment section what we need to add. Spice this up, right? We're seeing Canada kick ass. I don't know what's going on here. I think US is selling drugs and I think it's the opposite of what Mexico should be doing. But now we're just all getting confused here and Canada's giving the left right to everyone. But anyways, let me know in the comment section. Let's get back into the game. All right, now let's go back over to the wheel of misfortune and get rid of Mexico. Oh, whoops. No, keep that there. Get rid of Mexico. All right. Now, spin the Wheel of Fortune. We have France. Very nice. France, open the wheel. Zoom in a little bit here. It might just be, I think it is, pull up the spinner wheel here again, right in the center. That's, yeah, hitting right in here, England is. Alright, so France versus England. Alright, so we just got France. Versus New England. What could have easily been a pretty good match. But as I said, if you have Mbappe on your team and a good squad behind you, I think it's going to be unmatched. And it was... Huh. Oh, New England. <laughs> you put New England. New England. <laughs> I just noticed that now. Uh, uh. Well, New England lost as they should have. <laughs> as they should have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good warm up uh, by Mbappe. I thought we were doing good there. Well, no one's moving anywhere. We're testing the audience. Let me know if I fooled you guys in the comments or if you saw it beforehand of what I fucked up on. There's England. All right, as we see here, we have Blood versus Crips once again. Take a quick peek. All right, let's get back in. So, Mbappe, what do you think of that last match there? Was that a warm-up? No, 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 I'm not completely stupid. I was just testing the audience, like I said, so watch your mouth. Now, let's see if you have the same type of energy. Okay, it doesn't sound too bad right now. Hand it over to Kanye. Kanye said he has something to go with. And with that, scored? England scored? I don't know if Mbappe's going to take that lightly. Some people are just passing it to the opposing team. This is not what we saw in the last game. Which was just a practice round, warm-up. 
TV mount for some reason. Just got a goal over France. Are they going to be able to answer within the first half? Or are we going to see what is going to be a close game? Oof. Not to the right direction. Mbappe has the ball. Nice control. Is he going to be able to pass it with the goal? Over to Garud. The rabbit. Rabbit's doing pretty good over here. Mbappe may do a juke. May do a one-two. May pass it over. May pass it over to Griezmann. And we just saw another goal. And that's where it comes into play. Where they are doing very, very well. If not exceptionally well. This is tremendous coming from France's side. They're all hating each other. They're all about to get mad because there could be a possibility of another pass over to another goal. They are all right now. Oh, now he's playing the Macarena. We saw that from the last game. That's a very good song. He knows how to play it. His, his left hand is playing the chords. I don't know if he's strumming it right with his right one. What do you think, George? Oh, that's, that's very controversial. You think that England is about to get slapped up one more time because Griezmann said it is as easy as butter. You spread it on that piece of the bread, that other piece of the bread, as you just pulled it out of the toaster. And I believe it's not butter. I believe that is called a goal. Just pass it over to Rabbit. And there's nothing to come from England because at this point, the game is over. Sam, I thought they're going to get slapped up. That's right, Harry Kane. Yeah, that sounds a little bit weird. Harry Kane. There we go. Center field. 91 now. That's a fucking impeccable team right there. They're all above 80s. And that is that. Now we spin the Wheel of Misfortune. And at this point, I guess we gotta get rid of England off of the map. Bye, England. Alright, let's spin the wheel. See who's going up right now. We have Italy. Perfect. Yeah, right here. Now we spin the wheel of misfortune. Ooh, almost France. Finland. Okay, Finland versus who? Finland versus. Whoops. A huge ass target right up there with Canada. All right, spin the wheel of misfortune once again. Why is it all over? And oh, Poland, you already know.
All right. So obviously we're walking all over the place now. Whoops, I need to full screen that, do that. Poland versus All right, now we go in the game. Let's see. I feel as if let's, let's, let's pull them out here first before we make any predictions. Oh, with the mouse out of the way. Even though Sweden is relatively there with their shots, we'll have to see. Uh, we pulled up. Doesn't matter who's well. Sweden versus Polska. Yeah, like I said, Sweden has got the kick behind him but depending on if Poland was able to stay off the walk for this match they might be able to pull something together Mbappe what are your predictions here all right you feeling you feeling it you feeling Sweden I'm with you I do believe that Poland might have something that they can pull out but as we see here Gilk pull is Smolensky Shmul Shlomansky. Just some hard ass fucking names. Alright. Cairo. Cairo Hawk. To Zelensky. To. Dude, there's just a fam of. It, there's a lot of skis on their team. There's no snowboarders. It's just a bunch of skiers. They're all brothers. You got Lewinsky. George Lewinsky. Uh, they're, they're all over the place with the skis out here. I, I think Sweden is doing a. Uh, what we saw a match ago with Mbappe. He tripped himself. Almost fell to the ground as he tried kicking a goal. <laughs> They've been eating way too many of the IKEA meatballs. As we see here. Uh, I don't know if they added anything to it. I think Poland invaded IKEA. So as soon as Sweden started to get on the field. They started to feel a little bit loopy. Over to Forsberg. The cheaper version of Forbes. Uh, over to Kowalski. Kashut uh, to Movic. Movic might be able to do something. Kashut over to Kowalski again. To Kashut, maybe to a goal from Forsberg. Forsberg said, I don't care if I'm on the Dollar Tree version of Forbes. I just made that, and that was unanswered. The goalie tried to block it, but at this point in time, it's still anyone's game, as we saw there. And I think that's halftime for one and one. This is a very interesting game as within the first half they both got a score Karayakowski to Savansky to Lewandowski to Swiderski to there's Zerkowski there's a lot of skis out here that ski one over to ski three that passed it into the goal just like it should have been two days ago to do a pass back Pass forward, another pass back, do a left right trick, Rue, one foot, two, you know what I mean? It's gonna be like that, but I don't even know if they're gonna be able to do it. Are they? And it is in! In the last fucking 90! Holy shit! Their IKEA furniture is fucking 10 times better in Sweden. We saw that firsthand. You could probably jump and put 200 pounds on the table. You do that here in America, it's breaking under 20 pounds. That shit's made out of cardboard. You could make that shit yourself. Damn. As you see in the background, all of them are laying on the ground crying. And they're not going to be able to make it over to Sweden's side. Because at this point, it's already in the last minute. Two minutes. And this is where we decide who's the best of the best. This is always the deciding factor. Let me know before we continue here. Sweden or Poland, which one are we walking to today? We have to go to penalties. There's no other way to do it. And we're ready. We're about to see Sweden. Gonna be able to make a left-right kick. And he... Oh! 
He headbutted the goal. He knocked himself out. That is a goalie just breaking his neck. Ooh. Ooh. Sweden, you got it. Bow, left, right. Poland, get blocked. Come on. Oh, my word. We're seeing right here. I don't know how the Poland... No chance. They... No chance. The Poland goalie rang his own doorbell and knocked the shit out of himself. I don't know how he's still standing. If anyone hit a pole that hard diving... Okay, that's almost as worse as Tom Brady. It looked like he was about to give his coach a kiss. That was... I'm definitely not... Okay, that's... You do that, your girlfriend jumps on the... Uh, anyways, it's 2023. We're accepting of everything here. And... One thing I'm accepting is whoever is on the team for Poland. He looks high right there. The Dewanski looks he looked pretty blazed. Sword sword ice ski. Yeah, they have a lot of skis over there. One, two, three, four, five, um six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Damn, I, I'm not. <laughs> this is Alabama type of stuff, but did Poland make their own team? Whoever's you know leading Poland right now, the in charge of shit over there. They did just like oh, we're gonna put our whole family into soccer. Oh, you wanted to be a doctor? No, nah, you're fucking. Nah, you're, you're playing soccer now. You're not gonna be no doctor or engineer. All right, let's go over to Sweden here. See what's going on. So they don't even have Holland playing. Do we bring Holland or do we leave him? The eighty-two. Oh, eighty-one over there. One all cam. Lindelof, Victor, Victor. Now he moves over. Lindolf. Yeah. Hey, YouTube. What's good with it? Appreciate every single one of you. As always, made to the end of the video. You're an OG. But with that said, even if you skipped whatever, you watched the video for a couple of minutes. Appreciate every single one of you. This is going to be the part two of a part three, part four, you know, as the series goes on. Thank you for Dean's World for the idea. But as always, appreciate every single one of you. Stay frosty and near beat out.